Well, he's doing my opening for me. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to Day Shift at Freddy's 2, where I am going to play for a little bit, but then stop because I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, this is the second recording I've done today. So, yeah, let's just get into this. Hello, hello, hello. Employee, wow, day four. It's great to see you again. I, you know what? No. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure you gave out to me yesterday. I'm cutting the crap. That's what this is. You're doing your very best to ruin our lives. My life. Whatever do you mean, sir? Uh, you know? Cut the crap, employee. You can't fool me. Uh, uh, I looked for the security footage. I know what you and Dave did. I know what you are. I know you're a monster. Alright, that's a bit harsh, but sure. Uh, what? what should I- what should I have expected, right? You were arrested for child abduction in Colorado. You're a predator. A monster. Don't call me that. <laughs> this sounds very harsh, but I mean, in the game, yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> Was this not enough for you? There's police everywhere, employee. They're investigating us. They're gonna shut us down. What did you do? Why did you do this? Um, because I'm doing a villain arc and, and this is the only way to do it. Dave offered me freedom. A way out. I did it for the banter. Oh, wait. I could have helped, employee. I could have been that way out. But you did this. I should have known better than to trust a snake. Uh, uh, Get out of my sight. Don't you dare tell anything to the police, either. If you tell the police anything, you're gonna wish they can stop what I'll do to you. I'm getting threatened. I'm gonna go to my buddy Dave and tell him exactly what you just said. Dave, I'm being threatened, Dave. I think he heard me. Is he calling? Oh my god, he is! I think you're at a party. I can hear party in the background. What are you doing? I'll meet you in the safe room at closing time. You have my word, old sport. I think you're at a strip club. But now, here's a damn meme that you can enjoy. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. You sending me a meme? Ah, beautiful, perfect. I love this man. <laughs> oh, good meme. Yes, it's a good meme. I love it. Huh. I guess you'll be seeing Dave at closing time. Uh, hello? I am a man in a candy the cat suit. I work for Candy Swappers and Chips, home of the Whopper. Okay. Hi? I will now shoot up this restaurant for entering in on Candy's territory. Alan Snackbar. Who the hell is Alan Snackbar? And who are you? And why did you come immediately after David hung up the phone? Uh, what? Uh, uh, Employee! He's gonna shoot up the restaurant! Do something! Um, tase him! My god. Ouch. Ouch. Pain, suffering. <laughs> electrical trauma. Vast <laughs> discomfort. Pain. <laughs> vast discomfort. Oh god. End the pain. No, you deserve it. I like your suit, though. Oh, You're the coming cops. with us, sugar. Sugar. To the electric chair with you. Damn! Enough. Oh my god. Wait, I, I am or he is? Away with oh, him. Too, if it wasn't for that orange that with the fucking taser. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Classic Scooby-Doo. Did I win? Did I do good, Scott? Are you impressed now? Yeah, thumbs up. Good job on stopping that shooting employee. He has 500 tokens for being a freaking legend. Thanks. See you, employee. I remember. Customers generally dislike being shot at. <laughs> yeah, they do. I can agree. I'm gonna check the cameras. Oh my god. I guess Withered F Freddy made it out of the parts and service room. Even though there's no sound, you can definitely tell that Freddy's screaming, ARE YOU NOT ENTERTAINED? As usual. Neat. Go, Freddy. Time for a round three of Do we put up the offensive drawings that children shouldn't be capable of conceiving of, let, let alone making, yet somehow exist? Time for number one. What is it? Wait. This one isn't a photograph. It's a police sketch following the bite of 83. <laughs> what is that? Well, 
it's definitely detailed. What is that? It's a good one, though. Let's put it up on the wall. Fred bag goes up. <laughs> Time for number two. That is cursed. What is that? It's not Toy Freddy. This isn't a drawing. This is a Pop Goes promotion. Lord Freddy's is having a hard time getting actual drawings lately. No. Who even made this? It's cursed. Time for number three. Last one. Who the hell is that? Oh, look. A person that somehow looks creepier than Dave. Simply amazing. You can feel shivers running throughout your body. Now it is time to make the ultimate choice. I can't put it on. My morals prevent it. That thing will probably burn my flesh if I touch it. I will put the picture up. Who is it? I, I, I'm just going to put it up because it's in purple. But I don't know who this is. But it's the Zodiac Killer. Sigh. Fine. Is it? I thought we never knew who caught the Zodiac Killer. We don't know the Zodiac Killer. I'm confused. Up it goes anyway. For no reason at all. Well, that's today's done. The pictures you chose should now be on the wall. Nice. Now, I'm going to go and summon the janitor. Because I read that, like, when I was in Matt's shop, that the brooms can summon the janitor. And I want to meet this Jimbo guy. The <laughs> fucking scuttless picture I got. Oh, hi! Hey, you look hey. familiar. No, I don't. Have I seen you somewhere before? No, not at all. Wait. No. I know you. No, you don't. No, I think you're mistaken. <laughs> There's no mistake. You're a wanted man. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. No, please. I'm innocent. I will give you 361 tokens not to arrest me. Oh my god, he's getting in my face. Fine. Fine. You're lucky I'm a corrupt bastard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. My logic worked. Oh my god! See you around, fuckface. <laughs> the zoom! See you around, fuckface. How do I summon you, Jimbo? Summon Jimbo the janitor. Oh my god, hello! Mortal? mortal? You have summoned Jimbo. Ah, my god. What is it that you need to ask of me? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what is the, uh, the computer password for that phonies? That will cost you 100 fast token. Really? Fine. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. The password is Foxy Lover One Two Three. Foxy Lover One Two Three. Oh, okay. Can you come back? What is Dave's office computer password? Will cost you 100 fast tokens. How do you know all of this stuff? But give it me. Pleasure doing business with you. <clears throat> the password is Aubergine. Of course it is Aubergine. All right. We got aubergine and foxy level one, two, three. Uh, uh, can I have your broom? No, it get lost. Oh. This is my broom. Oh. I'm going to go clean up vomit now. Okay. I will now spray you for wasting my time. No! Oh, come on, man. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck you, Jimbo! Oh, it's a doggo! A randomly encountered doggo. Hey there, fella. Oh, how cute. He thinks he's people. Ah, oh, good doggo. Jesus Christ, that's still deafening. Entire computer is at your disposal. What shall we do now? I want to sign into computer accounts. Which user shall you sign in as? Mm, let's do Scott first. I believe it was... Foxy lover too free. Cause he's an interesting fellow. Ah, we're in. Welcome, Scott. Open file. Uh Scott's hidden stash. Oh, time to see what phone guy keeps in his secret folder. Foxy body free. Oh. Interesting. I hate it. It's cursed. Cursed image. I have no words. The length of the black box scares me. There's at least 300 more of these files, all with the same file name, too. I get the feeling Scott really likes Foxy. 
I think phone guy might have issues that need to be talked about, you think? I want to see more. No! More. Muscle. Fox. <laughs> okay. Uh, company logs. Freddy's one. Name. Freddy Fazbender's. Date of closure. June 1984. Location. Utah. Location number one. Reason for closure. Employee uses mascot costume to lure five children into a back room and then kills them. That sounds about right. Alright, what about this one? Name, Freddy Fazbender's. Date of closure, June 1987. Is this the bite of 87? Location, Colorado! Location number 47. This was the one we were at. Reason for closure. Orange employee charged for strangling five toddlers arrested at staged birthday party. I remember. I remember the date. Name, Freddy Fazbender's. Date of closure, September 1979. Location, New Mexico. Location number 12. Reason for closure. Employee starts oil fire. Robot spread fire. Flaming robot crushes salad bar. Wow. That's intense. Name, Freddy Fazbender's. Date of closure, February 1976. Location, Washington. Location number 16. Reason for closure. A non-descriptive incident involving Freddy, a urinal, and a blowtorch. The hell did Freddy do? All Freddy Freddy's bathrooms have cameras following this incident. Understandable. The hell did Freddy do with a blowtorch in the urinal? Kansas. Reason for closure. Closed after an incident where the Bonnie AI somehow figured out how to make mustard gas. Whoa! Nebraska. Closed after a man in a candy the cat suit, local Midwest competitor of Freddy's, entered the restaurant and shut up the place for stepping in on candy's territory. We just prevented that from happening here. Company note. Those rascals. I love Fred Bear's Family Diner. It's cool in the books. Fred Bear's Family Diner. Reno, Nevada. Location number zero. Reason for closure. Redacted. Yeah, I wonder why. It's gonna be something to do with Henry and William, I can tell. Company note. Fred Bear will not let anyone back into the building. Oh. The Rat Pack. 1983. Oregon. Oregon? I can never say that one. I think it's Oregon. Location number 48. Redacted. Management note. I told you all that copying the idea of rats from candies was a bad idea. <laughs> There's so many. Freddy Fazbender's. July 1985. Arizona. Number 13. Reason for closure. Closed after a man threw Foxy the pirate into the Grand Canyon. No, that man was William, aka Dave. He wanted to see if Foxy could fly. We witnessed it in the first game. Montana. Reason for closure. Closed after a freak accident during a show. Company note. Following this incident, all cannons have been taken from all pirate coves at Freddy's locations. Someone gets shot by a... Cannon? Idaho, of course. Reason for closure. Closed down after the 57 dogs at the location wouldn't stop barking. Is that the sister location? Following this incident, all doggos have been banned as performers at Freddy's locations. I don't think you can close down the business just because doggos won't stop barking. All information from this location has been lost due to an employee in purple spilling a mug of gravy onto the paperwork. Alright. Fazburger. Date of closure, July 1985. California. Hmm. Reason for closure. A worker got a customer's order wrong and the customer began screaming. Okay. After about 10 seconds of this, Bonnie left the stage and proceeded to rip the customer's head clean off. Company note. 
That's a real shame. I thought Bonnie was doing better at this location. It's Bonnie, of course not. Nevada. A night guard got stuffed into a really big burger and crawled out of the burger naked the next morning in front of customers. Company note. This is something we'll try to avoid in the future. <laughs> How are they still opening locations at this point? California. Reason for closure. Freddy somehow got into the kitchen and made a burger that killed the health inspector. <laughs> what? <laughs> Company note, no more fast burger. Damn, Freddy. All right, the one I'm dreading here. Foxy's House of Pleasure. Name Foxy's House of Pleasure. Day of closure, September 1986. Location, Las Vegas, Nevada, of course. How is there a location 69 when there aren't any locations number 60 to 68? <laughs> Reason for closure. A customer did public sex acts on the robotic stripper Fox. The suspect, Kenny, <laughs> from the state of Nevada, escaped police custody but was spotted at location 47 in June of this year. I had sex with Foxy? Company no. He yiffed the... Fox! Is that what the Foxy Yip Yip minigame is, then? I'm the- I was playing as the fox that my character assaulted. Employee records. Which employee? You, Scott. Scott Coffin. Company rank. Signer of the red contract. One. Date of death. Company secret. He's dead? History with the company. N.A. No. Expunged. All factory records are to be housed exclusively on private confidential servers. All right, what about Dave? Name, Dave Miller. Company rank, day shift employee, suited mascot signer of the red contract, two. Date of death, whenever is convenient. <laughs> History with company, unknown. No, Dave Miller is on the company watch list for being a suspect in numerous child abduction cases. Dave is known to obsess over Kenny. For Kenny's safety, they must be kept separate. No, he, he's nice to me. Matt. Matt Virginia, he's still a virgin. Company rank, price co corner vendor. Date of death, hopefully soon. History with company, employees since 1985. No, Matt scares his co-workers. For their safety, all interaction with Matt must be kept to a minimum. Understandable. Jimbo Mopson. Company rank, janitor. Date of death, estimated 1987. Um, it's currently 87. History with company. Employee since 1983. Jimbo sprays customers with his spray bottle. Customers dislike this quality. Once a replacement janitor is found, Jimbo is to be immediately fired. Is fired equal death? Ronaldo Cuisine. Dough master. Master of dough. Estimated question mark, question mark, question mark. History with company. Employee since 1983. Ronaldo is under investigation for serving pizza with traces of human flesh, mold, and kibble. Oh my god. Old sport. Name, Kenny. Company rank, day shift worker. Signer of red contract, hashtag free. Date of death estimated, question mark, question mark, question mark. History with company, employees since 1987. That's a lie, but go on. Kenny is a drifter from Nevada. Don't let, leave him alone with children. Has possible ties to Henry and Dave Miller. I knew Henry? Cool. Henry Miller. Company rank, day shift met worker. Date of death, unknown. History with company. Day shift worker during the 70s. This man has seemingly disappeared, has ties to Fred Bear's family diner and its former owner, William Afton. Do not trust this man. Huh. So there's two files on here for Dave Miller and William Afton. Maybe they don't know that Dave is Afton? Kind of like actual FNAF lore? Name William Afton, company rank, former owner of Fred Bear's family diner. Date of death, unknown. History of company, former owner of Fred Bear's. No, this man has seemingly disappeared like Henry has. Enclosed is a picture of William Afton, left, and Henry Miller, right. No, the night guard on the left has yet to be identified. Ah, It's Dave. Afton, yes, well we know this anyway, and this is Henry. I bet this is me. <laughs> and they're not telling us that it's me. I bet I somehow knew them. Uh, liberator of... Palestine far four. Not from Scott Coffin. Why is this character under the employee tab? Is this Dave's work? 
Did Dave do this? Probably. For Love Mark. External contractor. Estimate question mark question mark question mark. History of company expansion of Fred Bears after its purchase. Sealing Colorado safe room twice. We may need th this man again soon. Let's have a look on Dave's. It was like aubergine, right? I think that's how you spell it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Dave. Open file. I want to see box first and then we'll read his diary. There's just a single text file inside of the folder. What does it say? Most of it is in is complete gibberish and the words old sport come up at least 5,000 times when one line seems to actually be comprehensible. Do I tell old sport about the box? Tell me! I wonder what he's referring to. Huh. Diary. I want to hear him talking about me. I bet he's talking about me. So, 22nd. Why, hello there, diary. It is I, the elusive aubergine man. Here I am in the newest Freddy's location. Boy, this place is roomy. Unlike... I still miss Fred Bear's family diner. I've heard that Old Sport is going to apply for a job here tomorrow. A job he's obviously going to get. I'm surprised that he still wants to work here after the shit show from back in June out in Colorado. I mean, he got himself arrested. I wonder why he's back. Maybe he wants to shiv me this time. Alright, firstly, William, I didn't get myself arrested. You threw me under the bus. Secondly, no, I don't want to shiv you. I'm going to give him an offer on the 24th. I hope he, for his sake that he accepts it. If not, well, let's just say that I have big plans for this joint. <laughs> Would he have killed me if I said no? 23rd. Why, hello there, diary. It is I, the elusive aubergine man. Tomorrow I'll be offering Old Sport a job. I hope he accepts. I'd hate to have to harm Old Sport. He was going to kill me if I didn't say yes. I hope he'll make the right choice. End of log. Why, hello there, diary. It is I, the elusive aubergine man. Old Sport accepted my offer. I knew he would. He wore the bear suit. I wore the rabbit suit. Me and him. Purple and orange. Kidnapping and murdering kids while wearing mascot costumes. It's just like the old days. I'm really wild about Kenny. <laughs> End of vlog. Oh, he's a yandere. He's my simp. Well, hello there, diary. It is I, the elusive aubergine man. I put a fucking padlock on that puppet box. How intelligent of me. I should have thought of that years ago. I gave Old Sport an offer in the PS room. Old Sport tampered with each of the toy robots for me. What a sport. He's better than the whole rotten bunch of them put together, especially that Matt fella. Fuck, he creeps me out. I have one last offer for him tomorrow. If he accepts, we're in the clear. End the vlog. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Fucking ears. Well, I'm actually going to leave this episode here because, as I said, I wasn't going to do a long one today. I'll find out what Dave wants real soon. Um... But yeah, for now, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will come back to this soon. Adios!